Ms. Patel, Ms. Patel, that was a threat, what you said at the end, and so the officers are going to escort you out and take care of that. It's very clear to me as in someone who's been an organizer for the past couple of years that none of you care because you, got, you guys don't care about anything happening in Palestine or any other country where oppression occurs because you don't care about the oppression occurring here. And I understand that you guys are all horrible people, but the thing is, 2,300 people being evicted in the last year, those are votes. And you guys, those are votes to win here in Bakersfield. And while you, you guys parade Gandhi around as a Hindu holiday called Chaitra Navratri it starts off this week, I remind you that these holidays that we practice, that other people in the global south practice, believe in violent revolution against their oppressors. And I hope one day somebody brings the guillotine and kills all of you motherfuckers. The increased criminalization for no need other than you don't like when people come and hold you guys accountable for introducing ceasefire resolutions because the only escalation in violence has been by you all. And so there's no need to continue. In the last five years I've attended city council meetings, there's never been metal detectors, there's never been more cops. The only reason you're doing it is because people actually don't care if you guys don't like them and they're actually resisting so you want to criminalize them. So regardless of whether you elect people into office, they'll backstab you, they'll let you die, and for that reason, you guys want to criminalize us with metal detectors, we'll see you at your house. We'll murder you. Next speaker, please. Lance, followed by Kev, followed by Valeria. Ms. Patel, Ms. Patel, that was a threat what you said at the end, and so the officers are going to escort you out and take care of that.